Hi everybody, John from Wire here. In this video, what we're going to do is transfer a domain from Namecheap into Cloudflare using Cloudflare's registrar. So to begin, what we need to do is log in to our Cloudflare account, and then under Domain Registration, click on Transfer Domains. And you'll notice that I have a domain here, but it's not able to be transferred because it's still locked with my other registry. So my other registry that I'm using is Namecheap, and the way that I'm going to unlock this domain is by logging into my Namecheap account, clicking on Domain List, and then finding the domain that I want to transfer. Once I've found this domain, I can either click on it or click on Manage. And then if I click on Sharing and Transfer, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I have the ability to transfer out the domain from Namecheap to Cloudflare. To do this, we need to unlock the domain. So right now it's locked. Click on the Unlock button and it will change to Unlocked. Now what we can do is we can go back into Cloudflare and then wait for anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple hours for the registry status of this domain to update. So I'm going to fast forward the video for when this updates and we'll continue with step two. All right, so it's been a full 24 hours and the domain has unlocked from Namecheap. And I can see under my transfer domain section that I have wire.com, which is ready to transfer into Cloudflare. So next we can confirm the domain that we are ready to transfer. Now we need to log into Namecheap and then unlock the domain and get the authorization code. So how we're going to do that is we're going to log in, click on our domain list, click on the domain that we want to get the authorization code from, and then scroll down to this section here. If you've done this correctly, you've probably already unlocked it. That's how we got it to show up within Cloudflare. Now we need the authorization code. So I'm going to give them details on why I'm transferring out and then send the code. All right, so I've just sent that code to my email address that is on file with Namecheap. So I'm going to go and grab that code and then go back in to Cloudflare. Okay, so I found my authorization code and then I'm going to paste it within this section here, number three. That's been confirmed and I'm going to confirm and proceed. So this is the section where you confirm the who is contact information for your domain. It basically pulls this in from your previous registrar if you had to fill out this information I'm going to leave most of this information the same and then click on confirm and finalize transfer. So now it's going to take you to this page that says your transfers are underway. So this domain should show up automatically within the manage domain section. And you can see that it's located right here. The status is expired. It doesn't have auto renew on. So we're going to click on manage. In the manage section, there's a few different options you can see the different stage at what the transfer progress is going at. And you can also cancel the transfer if you wanna do that as well. Right now we can see that it's waiting for the payment and we need to go and approve the transfer at Namecheap. So let's go and approve that transfer right now. Okay, so within my email, my Namecheap account email, I received this email just a minute ago. And you can see it has the domain that I'm trying to transfer to Cloudflare. And then it gives me three options. If I want to proceed with the transfer to Cloudflare, I don't need to do anything. If I want to speed up the transfer, aka not have it take multiple days, I can click on this link. And if I want to cancel this transfer altogether, I can click on this link right here. So I'm going to click on the second option because I do want to speed up the transfer. And when you click on this link, it'll take you to a custom page, which will ask you to approve or reject the domain transfer. So what you're going to do here is click on approve to speed up this transfer and make it nearly instantaneous. And it will say approve completed successfully. So now what I can do is I can go back in to Cloudflare and every couple of hours I can refresh this page. And what's going to happen is that Cloudflare is going to consistently check on whether or not I've given approval to transfer this domain out. And we'll come back to this page once we have a transfer successful message. So I've waited just about six minutes and I've clicked on the Manage Domains button under Domain Registration in Cloudflare. You can see that I have my new domain, I have Auto Renew turned on, and it is active. 
If I ever want to manage this domain, I can click on the Manage button, and this will give me all the details about the contacts and the configuration that I set up during this process. You're going to be charged on your Cloudflare account going forward, so you won't have to use Namecheap for any renewals or things like that. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the section below. Please also take a look at the description if you're going to purchase more items on Namecheap. I have a few discount codes and coupons that I include there as well. Thanks, and hope you have a great day.